It's your girl Toya. Welcome back to my channel. If you like me, you better hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I can't rap. Let's just get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your girl Toya, and welcome back to my channel. So, as promised, guys, I told you all that I was going to come back and do a four week checkup. Four week, four week week four i've officially hit the four week mark guys so i am super duper excited i'm excited to share with you guys my journey and how i've been feeling the last couple weeks so if you guys are interested in watching this video stay tuned all right guys so i actually just left my four week post-op appointment um if you watched my previous two videos okay don't if you watched my previous two videos, you saw that I had a full uh, total abdominal hysterectomy. Um, I had to have a vertical incision. So my downtime was a little bit longer than some people that may have gotten like a liposcopic hysterectomy. So she saw me at two weeks and that was just to remove the staples and just, you know, ask general questions like how was I feeling? How were things coming along? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and today was a four week checkup appointment. Um, honestly, the four week check appointment was like a waste of time because we didn't do anything. Um, and my doctor was like, I don't even know why they scheduled you for four weeks. I wanted to see you back at six weeks. So I guess there was some confusion with scheduling. So, um, the way the four week checkup went was kind of similar to my two week checkup. Um, she just checked the incision. Of course, they took my blood pressure and stuff like that. She asked me if I had any questions. She wanted to know how I was feeling. Um, she also asked like things that I was doing around the house. Was I up and walking around? I told her I had been walking to the mailbox several times, um, back and forth. But honestly, it's like super cold and I don't even want to go outside. Um, I wouldn't mind going outside any other time in the cold because I actually like cold weather. But because I know I just had surgery, I don't want that cold to settle up in my body, you know. So I have been doing that. I have been getting up. Um, like I said in my previous video, I go downstairs. I cook breakfast. Um, I've been cooking dinner a couple nights a week. Um, and overall, guys, I'm honestly feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really, really good actually this week. Um, I have like my bowel movements under control. I'm still taking my fiber. I'm still taking my stool softener. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I can't do any exercise. She did explain to me at the appointment. No exercise. She still doesn't want me to do anything strenuous. Um, and of course, still no sex. So um, I'm waiting for my six-week checkup to see what she says then. I'm thinking she's probably going to just release me for work and probably release me for um, just other activities, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie, y'all kind of scared. Like, I feel like I'm going to be nervous when it's time to have sex. Am I supposed to be talking about this on YouTube? Anyway, I don't care. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous, guys. I guess because I'm thinking about how I know I have stitches on the inside of my stuff up in there. So, I mean, I know the over time, I'll get back comfortable with doing the do. But I am nervous for that first time. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but um, I'm ready to see what it feel like. Like, what is it going to feel like with no uterus? Because I've been really uncomfortable with that uterus, guys. So, I ain't going to lie. That has affected my life completely. So, um, oh, yeah. That's that's another thing. She went over my report. Um, like, after you have surgery, they go, they um, send, like, your uterus and whatever else they took out to like the lab just to make sure that you know there's no cancers or anything crazy is found um thank god that nothing was found on my report um unusual um the knot remember i was telling you guys about that little knot that i had that was inflamed in my incision come to find out that was endometriosis um and my doctor said she was really surprised that it was endometriosis because that was the only lesion lesion there in my pelvis area it was no other like endometriosis found within my body so i don't know what happened i guess it decided to pop up but i'm glad she took that out um and i just been feeling really good guys um i'm not gonna lie um it's hard to sit around the house and not do anything especially since i'm starting to feel better um but i can do stuff so let me not say i can't do anything i can do stuff 
Um, like I said, I cook. Um, I have washed the dishes several times. I just still cannot do any vacuuming, any mopping, anything that requires um, like pushing and pulling, um, bending uh, and lifting. So she still doesn't want me to lift anything over um, the size of a gallon of milk. So yeah, I just, I'm just going to have my husband and daughter do all my heavy lifting. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But yeah, guys, I just want to make this video super short um, because I told y'all I was going to come back after my four-week checkup. My four-week checkup went super well. Um, it went really, really quick. It was like a less than 10-minute appointment. She answered all the questions that I had. Um, she made sure I was doing well, um, making sure that I'm taking whatever medicine that I need to take. Um, I'm no longer on pain pills, so she was happy to know that. Um and it looks like I'm on the right road to recovery. So um, no complaints here. Um, do I have any regrets or anything like that? No. Um, I honestly have felt better since I had the surgery. And even on day one, like even though I was in pain from having surgery, I could feel the difference when I came out of surgery. Like I could tell that my uterus was no longer in my body. I no longer had that fullness in my stomach. Um, I no longer had that heaviness, that pain, that uncomfortableness because my uterus was just pushing up on my diaphragm. It was pushing down on my bladder. I was peeing constantly. I had acid reflux. Like, I, whew, child, it was just ghetto. I'm glad it's over, y'all. But your girl is wearing jeans today. Can y'all see? Hold on, I want y'all to see my jeans I got on. Let me see if I can scoot this back, so. Oh, you know what? I think I can tilt this. Hold on, guys. I want to, I want y'all to see your girl got jeans on to, hold on, what am I doing? That ain't go down much. <sighs> I want y'all to see that I got jeans on today. Can y'all see? Uh, I don't want y'all to see my granny panties. I do want y'all to see I got, your girl got some stretchy jeans on. Um, They're not too uncomfortable, but these jeans are, are really kind of like jeggings, but they are zipped up, they are buttoned. Um, and they're not too uncomfortable, so I'm super excited because I had stopped wearing jeans for a while, y'all, because my uterus was just, child, it was just taking up too much room down there, and it was always uncomfortable to wear jeans, so I'm excited to get back in a pair of jeans. And yeah, I said I was going to make this video short, so if you guys have any questions about my appointment, if you guys have any questions about my procedure, um, medicine, whatever any type of questions y'all have please leave them down below in the comment section and your girl will respond back to you um thank you guys so much for the support thank you guys for watching my other videos um i appreciate all the love support and prayers thank you guys so much for getting me to almost 800 subscribers so i'm trying to get to 1k guys so please help your girl out if you're on this channel please subscribe i swear you guys will fall in love with me just like i fall in love with you so guys, as always, be safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.